All right, so if the HTC One M9 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 had a baby, yeah, this is what we'd get. This is the HTC One M9 Plus. So, okay, wait a second. We have the HTC One M9 that we see in stores and everyone knows that, but what is this Plus version? In short, it's just a slightly better version of the flagship that's already out, as the name implies. So okay, check this out. Here's a couple of new additions. Number one, a slightly larger 5.2 inch Quad HD display. Yes, 2560 by 1440. So it's 0.2 inches larger and also brighter and sharper than the 1080p display in the regular 1M9. It's also a little bit slightly cooler in color temperature, but overall a superior display. And then at the bottom, as I'm sure you've already noticed on the front here is a fingerprint sensor. So just like the Samsung or Apple flagships, you can now register a couple of fingerprints to unlock the phone just by touching your finger to the sensor. So no swiping necessary. It's actually really good too. For me, it's been just as fast and accurate as the one in the Apple or Samsung flagship phone. So it's actually not a home button. It doesn't press in at all. It's just a surface that looks like the Samsung home button, but you can't actually wake the device by tapping it. You'll have to either double tap the display or use the actual power button on the side of the phone to get in and the actual software home button to go home. But once you do get in, it's the exact same software experience as the regular One M9, with just a few differences thanks to it actually being for the Chinese market, which I'll get to in a second. Inside, it's pretty powerful too. It's rocking a 64-bit octa-core 2.2 gigahertz chip and three gigabytes of RAM again. Uh, it's not the Snapdragon 810 or anything, but it is packing a lot of power here. And curiously enough, even though it is a little bit of a bigger phone, it does still have the same size battery. So it's still rocking a 2,840 milliamp hour battery like the regular One M9. But the last big difference here is around the back and it's the camera or cameras. It's rocking a 20 megapixel sensor again, this time with the round housing instead of square. And you have your dual LED flash. And then up top, you have your depth sensor again, that one from the One M8 of last year. So the M9 doesn't even have this at all. Now you can take your photos with all the glory of 20 megapixels and also still have the choice between some of HTC's corny duo camera effects. Not saying they'll be pretty photos, but hey, the effects are there. So either way, it is a slightly larger phone. It's a slightly different phone. It's pretty comparable to hold in the hand. Uh, it still has the same button placement as the original One M9, but everything else is straight from that already popular flagship. So from the excellent build quality to the pretty much unmatched boom sound speakers. So this brings to mind what we saw with the Prime phones of last year. We had the self-named LG G3 Prime and the Samsung Galaxy S5 Prime. And I did a video about both of those, sort of explaining what Prime phones are. And the same applies here. This HTC One M9 Plus is another one of those phones that's only going to be sold in China. And if you want to get it in your pocket, you'll have to import it, which comes at a cost of its own. Shout out to Dbrand Skins for helping out with that. And yeah, it has its own optimizations for that market, because as far as HTC is concerned, this is what the Chinese market wants. And the One M9 we see here in US stores is exactly what the US market wants. Now, I'm not saying I disagree with that, but I'll tell you right now, I would have loved to see the One M9 Plus in stores here, considering that it's basically objectively a better phone than the One M9 in a couple of ways. Also, there have been rumblings of a Samsung Galaxy S6 Plus, and as far as I know, this photo, which was given to me by an anonymous source, is the first one on the internet of that, so there's your exclusive, and it'll have some pretty similar excellent specs and be a sort of a supersized version of the original Galaxy S6. So there you go, Plus is the new Prime. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.